Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're planning on taking the Pen Test Plus exam, watch this video, guys, first, because I do not want you guys to make the same mistake that I made when I took it the first time, okay? Now, when I took the Pen Test Plus the first time, I failed, okay? The reason I failed is because everyone that was giving me advice about the exam was telling me about NMAP, NMAP, NMAP. It felt like taking an NMAP test be prepared for NMAP. So I was being prepared for NMAP. Of course, I prepared for all the other questions, but I was so focused on NMAP that when I went to take the exam, I probably only had like two or three NMAP questions. So I failed the first time and then I went back, did some study and sharpen up some stuff. And I went back, took it, knocked it out of the park to the point where I had a whole lot of time remaining. Like I told y'all in my last video. Okay. So, my advice for you to make sure that you pass is do not just study on nmap okay do not overthink the nmap part okay make sure you well versed on everything also the thing is the version that these people took was the 002 version i took the 003 version the 003 version just came out a couple months ago so that was something that i should have also paid attention to right just to make sure because probably the 002 version was like that and they know that and it was like okay let's switch up some stuff and let's do this instead because the 003 version the version i took i felt like it was asking me questions about almost everything that was on the objectives so that's my advice guys if anybody's telling you about nmap 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 for the new version of the pen test plus it's going to have questions about a lot of different things all the things on the objectives make sure you know and another set of advice that i do have for you is making sure that you know the differentiations between the different tools that do the same thing or close to the same thing so when you get a question you can pay attention and make sure that you get it so for example if you know what the harvester is and you know what hunter.io is you know the harvester is used to gather emails on a target it's an open source tool but hunter.io is mostly used for verifying the emails right but both of them can gather emails and stuff but even if they both do similar things one is used for gathering the emails and one for verifying. So a lot of times, if you pay attention to the question and they specify which open source tool would you use, or let's say they say something like, you have uh, 500 emails or 200 or 20 emails, right? And you need to use an open source tool to verify these emails. And they put in the drop down they put four options the harvester hunter.io then they probably slip in two other answers that have nothing to do with it like let's say nessus and uh power sploit or something you know and you're like which one it is now you stuck between those two the harvester and hunter.io right but if you did your studies and you paid attention then it should click to you like okay f the way how they structure this question hunter.io is most likely the answer they're looking for so yeah that's my only advice make sure you pay attention to everything on the objectives study everything on the objectives make sure for all the different tools you're going to be learning that you know the differences between the ones that are similar and yes you want to learn nmap stuff but that's not all you need to know because from my experience i only had about two or three nmap questions and i'm not saying your experience is going to be the same thing so listen to this video take advice from the video but the advice that i really want you to take from the video is be well-rounded and prepared I don't want you to think that, okay, it's not going to have NMAP questions and then you happen to be the one to get the test that have 
a lot of Nmap questions because they're gonna randomize the questions. We don't know what you're gonna get. But from my experience, and because I took it twice, I felt because I took it twice and both times, I only had like two or three, right? And I feel like three is even pushing it. I only had like two or three Nmap questions. I felt like, okay, let me just give them a heads up. So just in case you talk to anyone that took the test a couple years ago, you know, and they're telling you, hey, you need to be prepared for Nmap. You, at least you have my experience to go off of too, to make sure that you well prepared for this exam. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.